We're preparing to go out on the bikes. It's been pretty miserable all week. It's been pouring with rain. We've had some serious flooding nationwide, but especially in South Australia. And we're going to ride to the Adelaide Hills and um, a place called Blackwood, where some of our friends are running a Christmas tree festival in the library there. They're running the shop and hope to see them and hope it stays dry and then we can ride down the hill into Adelaide itself near to the Flinders Hospital area where a vegan picnic is being hosted. It was due to be in one of the parks but the weather has been so bad they've moved it to an indoor venue. It's part of the Adelaide Vegan Festival which is a biannual event. It's a festival one year and picnic the next. Hoping to listen to Jason Dizzy Gillespie who's been a vegan for perhaps 10 years and see what he has to say about the food, food trucks, the drinks which will be available. So really looking forward to that.
For him, he, he just feels he's always got a lot of energy, he's, he's, he's fit, he's strong, works hard, um, and he credits his uh, vegan uh, diet, vegan lifestyle for his longevity in the game. In my last year coaching at Yorkshire in England, I did, an, I did an interview with a journalist for one of the newspapers over in the UK, The Sun or something like that, and um, or The Mirror. We spoke for about an hour about cricket, and the last two minutes or so of the interview spoke about the dairy industry. And I just said that oh, I didn't agree with it all. That became big, big news. Um, Wensleydale Creamery, which was a sponsor of our club, were particularly unimpressed with the head coach um, coming out and bagging, uh, essentially, well, in their eyes, bagging them. I got called into the office by the CEO and the president and, uh, of the club and uh, was made aware of my uh, obligations. And I explained the situation. There was a 58 minutes out of an hour conversation about cricket, and it was just a couple of lines that got really blown up out of proportion. All right, first question. What is the name of the vegan community's beloved Euros place on Grenfell Street that you like to frequent? Stasi and Co. Out of these two dishes, you can only choose one to eat for the rest of your life. The other one disappears off the face of the planet. The two dishes are salt and pepper tofu, or vegan schnitzel? Which do you choose and why? Oh, I would definitely go salt and pepper tofu. I absolutely love it. Um... Meg, uh, which of the three ICC cricket formats is most likely to introduce the one hand, one bounce rule? I'd probably have to say 220. Uh, can't see them doing it anytime soon, but uh, if any of the formats, it'll be that one. True or false? Lord of the Fries on Hindley Street was the first from the Lord of the Fries franchise to offer a fully vegan restaurant and menu. I've got a 50-50 chance here. I'm gonna go true. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. This is the last question as well. Um, if you could have a dinner party with any historical figure, living or dead, who was also vegan, who would it be? I'd be intrigued to uh, have dinner and listen to Peter Singer's stories. I think he'd be a, he'd be a good guy to... I was fortunate enough to meet him a few months ago and. Uh, I think he'd be, he'd be a fascinating guy to uh, have a dinner conversation with. But uh, Luke, thank you everyone for coming. It's great. Just uh, get around and speak to some people and, uh, and enjoy some of the wonderful food and uh, a lot of the activities. It's great. Thank you for having me as well.
great little town but very very busy let's let some air in great restaurant the house good accommodation nice bikes part there as well the husky in Milan all that looking for somewhere to park wow there we go then close down the visor again getting a bit windy still 50 up here Ninety one, ninety five, ninety eight, jolly good. Not exactly empty, but let's fill it up anyway. A uh, really cold day, but the sun's out now and sun's shining. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.